guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go ahead and go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new WWE Elite Series 66 AJ Styles and Kurt Angle. We got another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review for you guys. We did completely finish Elite 65 yesterday with Ronda Rousey and Eric Young. If you guys did miss that video, be sure to go check it out. We also ranked every figure in Elite 65 from worst to best. So you definitely want to check that out. Find out which figures are the best in the set and which ones are the least in my personal opinion. But here we have the man that built SmackDown Live. We got freaking AJ Styles in his best figure to date. I'm just going to go ahead and make an assumption. It looks incredible in the packaging. And then we have a pretty rare looking Kurt Angle here. I think this is a really underrated Kurt Angle. I love the mold choices they use. And we're going to get into that as we, you know, get through the review. But I'm super excited. I think these are probably two of my favorites from the set. And uh, that's why they're first. So let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. You guys see here, both of them have their arms up in their packaging. You get a championship over here. Um, we spin it around. It always They always have their names on the side of the box there. On the back, we do get an epic shot of both men. We got a nice little shot of AJ Styles there. And then, of course, Kurt Angle. We have the rest of the figures in the way. Pretty solid set, I must say. We do have their little read-ups. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. We spin it around. You have a weird-looking picture of AJ Styles. I don't know what that expression is. And then you have another weird picture of uh, Kurt Angle there. So it's kind of weird. Both of them looking... I don't know, kind of like they're in jail or something, but spinning both figures around, guys, that pretty much completes their packaging. So without further ado, let's break them out of their boxes. So here we have both figures out of their packaging, guys, and my Christ, I am in love with both of these. I think I like both of these more than any figure out of Elite Series 65. Um, I'm pretty, I mean, I did love that Roman Reigns figure, but I don't know, man. It's it's going to be interesting to see here what we have with these figures. I can't wait to dive into it, but, I mean, at first glance, both of them are great. You know, just taking them out of the packaging and feeling them in the hand is just really nice. And they, they feel really good in the hand. Um, they feel really poseable, and I'm very excited to get a closer look at both of these guys. What we're going to do first, guys, is go ahead and take a look at Kurt Angle's accessories and then Kurt Angle, and then we will dive into AJ Styles' accessories and then the phenomenal AJ Styles. Styles. So taking a closer look at Kurt Angle's accessories, guys, we did go back to these terrible rubber shirt molds. I thought that we were beyond these, but apparently we are not, as we get two of them with both of these figures, but with Kurt Angle, you just get the one. It is the raw shirt. This is from Survivor Series 2017. He was the team captain, I do believe, and led the raw brand to victory as they took on Team SmackDown, but here is that shirt. I have multiple of these in cloth, so it would have been nice to have a Mattel version of this in cloth, but it is rubber. Uh, this will probably go on a crowd member or something. And, and something like that. And then, of course, we have his interchangeable hands, which these are the ones that came on him in the packaging. It is his pointing finger. Um, you could do Spider-Man memes and stuff like that with this. But this is obviously for his entrance. You know, he does this. He points towards the sky during his entrance, and this is really cool. Now that we have it in, you know, this mold with the uh, Captain America star spangled banner tape going around his hands we can expect to probably get this in the future that will be blank and you can put it on other superstars so that is really cool that we get these i like that they included something a little bit different here and it is signature to kurt angle for his interest so that is all you get with kurt angle i hate they didn't include his medals or possibly anything else but i do um, like the interchangeable hands i could have done without the shirt could have been cloth but you know it is what it is but now that we've covered his accessories guys let's take a closer look at kurt angle himself so getting into kurt angle's figure itself guys I mean this thing's actually quite impressive and I'm actually really excited to review it right now for you guys but this head scan man can we get away from this head scan I just want a new head scan whether it be straight face or whatever on WWE action figure surgery we're going to be head swapping this for sure on the next episode whenever that is because oh my god because I'm just sick of it I mean this does look a lot better than the ringside exclusive for some reason I think we've seen this now on a basic or two basics. We saw it on this ba uh, a basic. We saw it on the Battle Pack with Jason Jordan. We saw it on the Ringside Exclusive. And we saw it on this figure. It's like they just keep pumping it out. But uh, anyways, going down to the torso. I think this is a new torso mold. Or if it's not, it's the APA John Bradshaw Layfield torso. And I like it a lot. I mean, it's obviously a little bit different because this is actually sculpted on there. So it's actually his own like specific torso. And I really do like it a lot. I think that this is really cool. I mean, it may be a bit jacked or something. But 
I don't know, I like it a lot. I think you get really good ab crunch from it. I, I really enjoy it. Like, I think that if you were to take this, maybe switch out these massive arms, it does suck because I really like them. I think these are called graps. It's like his workout gloves. He, he usually wears them when he works out and then when he wrestles. It's supposed to be like these two fingers together. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe I can pop up a picture or something, but these arms are really jacked. I don't like the jacked arm look. I think that if they were a little bit smaller, it would work a lot better. Um, I really do enjoy this waist, this crotch piece. I like that we got the Kurt Angle A's going all over. It's like a Captain America attire is sort of what I would like to call it. These are on ball joints, so you can replace the legs if you wanted to for some dumb reason or you wanted to pop them on a different figure or something. Uh, we get these nice knee pads, open knee pads with the stars. And then we have this new shoe mold. I'm pretty sure this is a new shoe mold. It is. We got the sculpted wrestling shoes. Uh, the shoestrings are sculpted on. I think they did a fantastic job on this. This is not the same ones we've seen with Jason Jordan. And they did a really, really good job on this. I'm very excited for this entire figure. I think they did a fantastic job on it. I mean, and again, I think like just standing here, it just looks like a... I bet like people that pick fed and stuff are going to have a ton of fun posing this guy around and doing action figure shots. I think that it's a really strong figure, guys. Just sitting here playing with it in the hand, really nice stuff. So now that we've covered Kurt Angle, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some Kurt Angle Elite figure comparisons. So now we have the Elite 66 Kurt Angle up next to the rest of his Elite figures. Mattel has pumped out five Elite Kurt Angles in the short time that he has came back, guys. It's pretty impressive to say the least, but uh, we also have a custom Kurt Angle that I could compare it to, and I have a couple of duplicates that I could compare it to, but here are just, you know, the singular versions. We have the Entrance Grace Kurt Angle with a boot swap. We have the Epic Moments Milkomania Kurt Angle Elite. We have the Elite 59 Beautiful Kurt Angle Team Angle there from the early 2000s Ruthless Aggression Era. And then we have the terrible, one of my least favorite figures they've ever released in the Ringside Exclusive Shield Kurt Angle from TLC 2017. And uh, to be honest, I think this is a very great figure. I think the reason this head scan is so good is that they uh, repainted the eyes different than the basics and the ringside exclusive. It actually has a better likeness because of that eye color change. If you guys can tell from here, this just looks a lot more like Kurt Angle than this one does. And it, it's very great. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, this figure is really strong. If you get it, you are going to know what I'm talking about. Maybe we can get an arm swap in here. Maybe a shoulder swap. I don't know what can make this figure better. But uh, it, it's, it's a really great figure, guys. So now that we've done the comparisons, let's go ahead and take a look at AJ Styles' accessories. So getting into AJ Styles' accessories, guys, we do get this light blue t-shirt, which is very nice. I would have loved to have seen this in cloth form. I think it's a really nice shirt. The house that AJ Styles built, we have the, well, it's the house that AJ built. Or it says Styles right there, so I, I was right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm correct. But you got the stars and everything. You got the nice P1 logo on the back there. Uh, very nice t-shirt there. I hate that it's this rubber mold. Again, I thought that we would be beyond this by now, but apparently we are not. We did get a WWE Championship that we have seen a million times before. St same standard thing. Great looking championship belt as Mattel always does. And then we have a really interesting pair of interchangeable hands. We finally got the P1 glove hands that uh, they, they pretty much stole this from, from football gloves right here. But uh, you see the thing that he did on the WWE 2K19 cover, I think, is what it is. He, uh, you know, he sticks his hands out in front of him and he puts his hands together and you can see the P1 logo is what it's supposed to do. So that's pretty cool that they added this. I think that's impressive. Um, one thing I do want to see is if you can actually put these together with the figure, uh, put these onto the figure and see if he can actually do the pose. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here you go guys, trying to put this together here. It doesn't work that well. I mean, I know that if, like, I really wanted to, I could probably manipulate it for a picture or something. But it doesn't just go together. I mean, you, you literally have to force it. You have to do a bunch of work to get it in there. But it's definitely not perfect by any means, which is why these things need double-jointed elbows. It would really, really help with things like that so you could, you know, bend it together there. But it's not terrible. I mean, again, it's not perfect. I know that, uh, again, like I said, if I really wanted to make it look like it in a picture or something, I could probably do it, you know, manipulate the, the way it looks and everything. So I'll probably do it uh, later on, but it does look good nonetheless. I am happy that they actually gave us these hands and the option. It's pretty cool. And uh, I love that they actually texturized the gloves. I'm going to try and get a zoom in shot real quick. And you guys can see, look at this right here. They actually textured the gloves so they actually have, you know, some good molding to it. Uh, like his gloves have. I mean, I guess it's not a necessity, but I guess it's cool that they actually added that sculpt in there. Pretty cool that they're changing it up, as well as adding these wristbands 
to the gloves here that say styles you can slide them up and down even though it's not accurate if you slide it up here obviously it's not wristbands they're actually attached to the gloves but it's kind of cool to have its own separate piece to make it look like the straps of the gloves but now that we've covered his accessories guys let's move on to AJ Styles himself so taking a closer look at AJ Styles the man the champ that runs the camp whatever you want to call him here I love this head scan I think it's phenomenal pun intended um, it is a bit bigger though I feel like since they made the head a little bigger they should have upgraded the torso I know I say it every single time we review an AJ Styles they're not going to and you know it's sort of disappointing but I think that you know the Sin Cara torso or even the, the Damian Sandow torso, or even the Finn Balor torso, I think would do even better for this figure. I just do not like this body mold for AJ Styles. It's too small. AJ's a broad guy. You know, he's freaking over 215 pounds. I think that it would do wonders for this figure if they would make him bigger. Uh, but it, it looks good nonetheless. I love the head skin that we're getting. You know, they get better and better each time. He actually has the longer hair mold now instead of that really short mom haircut. It's actually grown out and it looks a lot better. Um, same torso we always get, as I just said. You do get the nice P1 logo on the elbow pad. It's not cut just yet. They still haven't given us the open elbow pad. But I do love that they added the color there. This is supposed to be his Royal Rumble attire from 2018. So this is a very nice figure. I love this attire. The light blue, silver, and black looks really clean. I love that the, the contrast really is nice, how it pops off the black. We've already covered the gloves and the wristband, so you guys know that. We do get a really nice armband here with the P1 logo on there in that nice blue, uh, blue colorway. Um, zooming in here, you got all the logos going on. You got the nice stripe down the side with AJ. Love the way that logo looks. It's the opposite of the P1 that's over here. No stripe on this side, it is just on the one side. Just like the Top Talents, they did give us the open knee pads, which is such a big upgrade. I love that they're finally giving us knee pads with our AJ figures. Should have been done a long time ago, but you know what? They're, they're doing it now, so it is a huge improvement. We also have these beautiful kick pads with a black on black. They did uh, misalign them here. I'll have to paint and touch that up. Not a huge deal, though, but I do like these kick pads with the beauty. Again, light blue, silver, and black looks so good together. That's the reason I made that custom one uh, that AJ wore. It sold out. So now that we have covered AJ, AJ Styles guys let's go ahead and do some AJ Styles elite figure comparisons so here we have the brand new elite 66 AJ Styles up next to the rest of his elites we are missing the elite 51 because it is customized right here so that is why that is not in this video but you have the network spotlight the elite 47 the top talents my elite custom AJ Styles from MDT sold out Elite 61, Elite 56, and then of course the Survivor Series Walmart Exclusive Elite. And I think that all of them are great. Again, I wish we could get a bigger torso. This is not all the AJ Styles of my collection, but it is sort of one from each uh, line that we have gotten so far. You can put the vest from the top talents over here. I'm pretty sure the blues are slightly off, but I think you could still get away with it. Again, with the gloves, I believe you could interchange those if you wanted these on the top talents or you wanted the top talents over here. You could do that, I'm pretty sure, as well. But I think this AJ Styles is uh, heads and shoulders above all the rest. I think that, you know, the Elite 61 or Elite 60, which uh, Elite 61 was a really good figure. I thought the Survivor Series Elite was strong, Elite 56. All of the AJ's figures have been great, but I think that this one takes it a step further. The, the better head scan, a great attire, the, the gloves, interchangeable gloves. I know you get a rubber shirt, but you do get the WWE Championship, and you could always use the Top Talents hoodie if you wanted to. But that pretty much does it for this 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new Elite 66 AJ Styles and Kurt Angle. Guys, highly recommended that you purchase both of these. I think that both of them are pretty damn near perfect figures. I mean, if you don't have an updated Kurt Angle and you really love Kurt Angle, I would grab it. I think that it's a really good figure overall. If you want to bring Kurt Angle to your pick fed, if you want him on your WWE figure roster, I would highly recommend it. I love the molds they use. I think that besides the, you know, doofus head scan that you could easily switch and the big AF arms, I mean, it's pretty much perfect. I love the attire a lot. I think it's great in figure form. AJ Styles is pretty much perfect head to toe. Uh, I know that we complain about the torso, but, you know, they're not going to fix it now, so I really can't deduct points because of that. It's a great head scan, though. It may be a little bit big. I love the gloves, and I love the accessories. Besides the rubber shirts, you know, they're not the best. I hate the rubber shirts. Um, but, you know, I think both figures are very strong. If you already have an updated AJ Styles, I think that you may want to pick this one up because it's, 
it's a perfect AJ Styles. If you have like an older version of AJ Styles, I would sell it and pick this one up. It's a lot more updated. It looks a lot better, and they're getting better and better every single time. Plus, the attire is great. I mean, I don't know how you could go wrong with either of these. I think they are both really, really strong. And if you want to, this is the best version of an updated Kurt Angle because the updated version of Kurt Angle is a Shield ringside exclusive, terrible, awful figure. So if you want one in his gear that is currently updated, then you got to get this Kurt Angle. But thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the review, hit the like button. Comment down below what you thought of the figures yourself. If you have either one of these, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.